Hey you guys, welcome back to Simple Gardening. Today I am going to show you how to just take some seeds from my coneflower. Um, I usually just spread the seed around the flower bed, but I'm not sure where I want to grow these guys uh, for next year. So I'm just going to harvest the seed and then wait till next um, springtime to germinate it and then plant it into the ground. So basically I'm just going to go through and kind of deadhead but take the seed. I'm just going to keep them in here. Just need to make sure that you wait until it's dry and black and really. Cause see how easy they fall into the bag? Here, let me show you real quick. So see those white things? Those white things are the seed. So see how you can just scuff them around? and then the seed falls out of them. Those are the little white seed heads right there. Got them at the bottom. So just wait until it's dry and then you just go around and clip them. Just make sure you know the variety that you want. I really want this variety. There's a whole bunch of seed that has already dropped down there, as you can see. But I'm going to try to save these ones to put in a different spot. So you can see I have different variety. Like that one's probably my favorite out of all of them. The other ones, I don't know, they're more prone to disease. I don't know why. I'm going to show you real quick, but if you can look at the leaf structure. See how this one, it just seems like it's more prone to disease. That one seems like it's more resistant. And the flower is more pretty, I think. That one, I think, is the more disease resistant one. Um, the more diseased one, like this one. So, I'm not going to pick that one. This one is kind of pretty. I like this one. And as you can see, it has some dry spots. See those white spots right there? Those are the actual seeds. Look at that bumblebee just moving around ever so slowly. See him? I don't know if he's tired or if he's worn out. I can imagine. But look, they're all over my vermilion there. There's another one. There's another one over here flying around. They sure love that vermilion now. So, this one over here, I think what I'm going to do is kind of the same thing. Get those sea heads. And I should really... Ugh, there's like some kind of spider or something on here. And these ones down here. I don't know if I really want to mix the seed heads, but I guess it's okay. I'll just have a wild fl flower area full of them. But yeah, this is one of my favorite but the main favorite one is over there I used to have this one called truffle delight it was so beautiful but I don't know why it died off for some reason and usually comb flowers don't die off so I don't know if I did something to it or it just didn't like me for some reason so comb flower is really easy to propagate from seed but like I said most of the time I would just actually plant I would just take a the sea head and then just spray it all along the yard but I don't know where I want to plant this look at this tiny dainty rose it's like a peach cream color isn't that pretty this one looks like I don't know this one looks more disease prone too so it might I don't know why this one's all funky 
I'm going to wait next year to see what that brings us. If I am still here next year. I don't know what the future will bring, but... We will see. And I think this cone flower is kind of the same. The one that's more prone to disease. See the leaf structure doesn't look very good. And then I was gonna go see what's in the front area if there's any any of my cone flower that have any dry up flowers that I can turn. That one I really like. That's the one I don't like. This one I really like and this one I really like. But it doesn't look like it has any spent bloom for me. Mm. And then let me show you the new one. I don't have any red one out in the main garden. But here's a new one that I got a cutting from a friend and I was able to propagate it. Actually, I don't have any yellow either. So here's a small, tiny, little yellow one that I'm trying to propagate. And it looks like it's doing well because it's sending out another flower. See that right there? So I'm super excited about that one. And then this one, look at this red color. Isn't that pretty? Oh look. This one is dried up, so I'm going to cut that one. I think this is a yellow one, too, right here, so that'll be awesome. Okay, let me do this two-handed. One-handed, actually. I'm just going to cut it right there. And you can see the seed is still attached. See? The white part is the seed. I'm just going to keep it in here. Yay! And it looks like it's doing great because look, it's sitting out another flower right there. And then it has all these new growths down below. This red one, I can't wait. I would like some more red ones for sure. I'm not sure what color this one is, but it looks like it's doing great over here. Hmm. Interesting. So that'll be something to look forward to. It's starting to form some of its, hopefully, little shoots for flower. So yeah, that's what I'm doing right now during the fall time. Um, looks like there's some seed pods for my um, bee balm. These are the red bee balms. Let me show you what it looks like. Those are the bee balms. Aren't they pretty? They're just really unique looking. I mean, very exotic looking. So those are a bee balm and they grow like f to be four or five feet and it looks like they have a whole bunch of seeds, seed pods. Hmm, maybe no seed pods. So anyways, bee balms are very easy to propagate from cutting. So basically what I would do, and I already got some I think, see over here, that pot right there, the the brown looking pot has this red bee balm in it. So I would go in, take a cutting right here from the node, strip that, and then just put it in to a pot and then let it go and then it will root. So they are very easy to root. Holy crap you guys. Okay, so this is my um, milkweed for my butterfly. And look at all those stinking aphids on them. Look at that. That stem is completely white. Can I see them? Look at that. Holy smokes. You guys see all that? Wow. That whole entire stem is white. I mean, not white, <laughs> yellow. I'm colorblind. Look at all those guys. They're just hanging out. And this over here, I don't know what happened. 
Anyways, this is supposed to be my milkweed that attracts um, monarch butterflies, but, well, apparently they're attracting more than monarch butterflies. All right, so that is about it for this video. I hope you guys are having a great day, and I will look forward to seeing you in the next one. Zena, can you say hi? Zena. Hi, Zena. Say bye. We'll see you later, you guys. Good girl. <laughs> yeah. Good girl. <laughs>